vibes it's me again queen b all right so guys i made a video um yesterday or it might be day before yesterday um concerning the whole cmr and chrissy saga again giving my views and my opinions on how i think chrissy should go about um you know with this whole thing about staying with her husband and not giving up on her marriage not giving up her family life not giving up you know on the business that she worked so hard for over one um or two or three or even four infidelities really right because again like i said we all should not be so shocked that a woman would actually stay in a marriage with a man that continually to cheat on her we all know yes it's a big disrespect to the family it's a big disrespect to the wife but at the end of the day this is nothing new like i said in the caribbean culture these men has been doing it for years and for years and for years and for years and no one seemed to you know come against it really because if you remember a lot of time back in the um, olden days with the old folks, a lot of them stayed with their husband even after multiple fornication, multiple infidelity. They still stand with their man. They still stayed in their marriage. Even if one have to live in a separate room in the same house, but they're in separate rooms. And it's always been done for the children. It is nothing new that you guys have not heard where couples are, are, you know, husband and wife have stayed together for the sake of the children. And once the children were grown and gone is when they went their separate ways. It is nothing new. And that's all I'm trying to say. Like, why in the world will we bash Chrissy or call her a Yamed or a Yamfil because she decided to stand firm in the Gideon with her husband. You understand me? Don't forget she has her mom. She has her family and I'm sure her mom is the one that's encouraging her and trying to give her the strength to stay in this marriage by saying, daughter, don't give up on your marriage. Don't give up on your family. You work too hard. Don't let any outside interference come between you and your husband stand firm my daughter you don't know maybe it's her mom that's giving her the strength and giving her the encouragement to remain in her marriage now even if she remain in her marriage it's still up to her as far as what moving forward how it's going to be played out she could make all the rules at this point and he would have to follow it she could put her foot down and, and and put some ground rules and say hey you know this is how this is gonna run this is how this is gonna be you understand me right now you are not to be in the bedroom i want you like last night i think i heard he said that he's sleeping in the studio no she put him out and put him in the studio you know even though he's in the studio yes at least he's still in the household itself and some may say you know maybe it's not healthy for the kids to see all that rift between but what is worse them not seeing their father at all they waking up every single morning to a routine that they normally used to. Maybe he used to get up early in the morning and make them breakfast and, you know, get them ready for school and take them to school. No, that's not happening anymore. That's, that's no longer the norm in their home. Wouldn't that, to me, affect the kids them more? than just seeing daddy sleeping in a separate room, but daddy's able to still get up in the morning and make their breakfast and, and get them dressed and help them to go to school and take them to school. You have to keep some form of normalcy in these kids' life while you two go through what you go through. You have to do the best you can and everything in your power to protect the kids from the blunt of you know, a breakup. It is your responsibility to do that. And if staying with her husband and, and continue to go to counseling and working on their marriage, if that's the, the you know, the, the route that she chose to go, why we as women cannot support that decision? Why we cannot support that decision instead of bashing her and calling her all kind of name and this and that, whatever. At the end of the day, that is her husband. 
she has a right to make whatever choices she chooses to make. And all we can do is stand behind her and support whatever decision she makes. It's not for us to bash her. Do you know how expensive a divorce is? A divorce is very, very costly, very expensive, especially when you have a lot of ties together. You have a lot of assets to distribute. You have kids that's involved. It's very, very expensive. And that's why it, in many ways, it always say it's cheaper to keep her and it's cheaper to keep him. No man out there is perfect. Stick with the evil that you already know. Again, as long as he's not being um, physically abusive, he's not bringing women inside her home, inside her bedroom, he's not disrespecting her over uh, another woman, he's not allowing any woman to, you know, uh, uh, approach her or disrespect her in any kind of way without him standing up to that other woman and putting that woman in her place. As long as he's not doing all of that, the only thing you can do is to pray and ask God to deliver him from whatever sexual demons that he has. But to encourage and to fight and to disrespect her and saying she needs to leave her husband, to me, that is wrong. And because I made the video and stand my ground as what I, I am standing on, that no, she should not leave her husband. You know, some people's taking offense to that. And that's okay because everybody has their own opinion. And we have to respect everybody's opinion. So if some of my subscribers or followers or viewers, um, you know, feel that because I'm taking a stand like that. And they think that, you know, I'm a little <laughs> crazy, <laughs> really, to think like that. Then the only thing I could say to you, honey, I respect whatever your opinion you have. And I'm asking you guys to respect mine. Okay? It is not the end of the world. It is not the end of the world. Like I said, there's a lot of folks back in the days, they did that for the sake of the children. You know? They did what they had to do to make sure they protect the children from suffering through any kind of breakup. And to me, that's part of being a good parent. When you don't think selfishly about yourself and your feeling and the fact that you're upset and you kick the man out the house and you divorce him. And then, you know, you don't allow the man to come see his children. That, to me, destroyed the kids more than anybody else. All because you're feeling hurt and angered and you take it out on the, you know, the, the whole situation by not thinking about the kids and making those rash decisions. I applaud her. It takes a very, very strong woman to be able to go through what she go through and still willing to stay in there and still work on her marriage and trying her best to make sure the kids are okay in the end of the day. It really takes a strong woman and I really applaud her for that. So guys, let's pray for the Carter family. Let's ask God to intervene and help to mend that family. Let's ask God for deliverance for CMR. He is struggling with a certain demon. And I mean, it, like I said, if she allows him to remain and try to work on their marriage, let's uplift her. Let's support her. Let's have her back. Let's root for them. All right. So anyway, guys, I just had to say that because, like I said, I had a few comments in my comment section. I had a few um, individual personal calls that say, hey, how can you have that kind of, you know, and like I explained to them, that's just my thoughts on things. It's always been my thought. It's not the first time you guys hear me say, you know, when it comes to relationship and marriage, take infidelity off the table as a reason to leave your marriage or your relationship. Once you take that off the table, 
believe me guys I know it sounds crazy but once that's off the table and any female that come around your relationship and see the way you and your husband are and hear conversations of the fact that look even if I cheat upon my wife right now my wife now left me even if I cheat upon my husband right now my husband now left me and people could actually see that in fruitation I promise you you will have less females try to come between you and your marriage because most of these females out here is all about who can take with Ufa man me can take with your man that's where they get their pleasure from to see if they can take with your man and if you can set them chew up some good sex and some good loving the man gonna run left them wife and come to them and more and more man need to show woman that that's not the case my wife will stand by me she will be with me yes I'm doing wrong and that is something that I have to deal with I have to answer to God um, about but as far as my wife is gonna leave me because of that if it's that you're hoping for, if it's that you're looking for, might as well you're going from now. And a lot of girls who's going to get turned off and not even want to be bothered because at the end of the day, they're not going to get nothing out of it. Period. And they're not going to get the end result that they're looking for. All right? So anyway, guys, just had that to say. I'm on my way home. Ooh, look at this. Jesus. All right. Um, so anyway, guys, have a good night, good day, good evening, good afternoon. This is Queen Bee once again, bringing you her opinion and her thoughts. All right. All right. Have a good night. Bye.